miniature Indians, as I call them, that I use in my photographs, began really out of necessity because my earliest work kind of evolved from just photographing what I was interested in as, as a wannabe architect to looking specifically for Indians on bank crests, advertisements, cigar store Indians. And then at a certain point you realize, well, there's not a lot of them to photograph, so what are you left with? So now what I was doing was placing these figures and saying they're suggesting a lot of different things, but more specifically that we inhabited all these places as Aboriginal people. And when you look at these places, well, how many Aboriginal people do you see? I ended up with a disability from a car accident. I broke my neck and doctors didn't think I was going to walk again, but I beat the odds. And I reinvented my life around photography. The exhibition drive-by was reflective of how I began shooting directly from inside the car and using the frame of the door as a frame of the photograph. And um, it really changed me in a lot of ways because now it was more pure in a sense that there were no people in between that were developing my film or making prints. And I made a decision that um, I was going to overcome this and nobody could ever accuse me of being malingering or being lazy and photography became the way to overcome the prejudices and the stereotypes that we deal with almost on a daily level across North America. So that was the idea uh, behind all of this work and it all just kind of fell into place and took on this resonance of, of strength and endurance and my own Aboriginal background. Yeah.